Lesson one. Looks are a vital part of being a delinquent. Amateurs should try bleaching their hair blonde to look tough. Be careful. If the chemicals are too strong, your hair will turn white and you'll look like a pussy. Damn it. You know, through my life, I've watched a lot of anime. And majority of the time, 90% of the anime I've watched never gets talked about. And I don't know if it's because anime just became the mainstream thing that everyone watches and they're stuck watching My Hero or reruns of Naruto, or doesn't have an idea how to watch these gems. Or maybe I just have a bad taste and these shows are bad, right? No, I may be a lot of things. But one thing I know, I'm the guy who watched a lot of anime. So I must know something about good anime. Fucking weed. Shut it. Anyway, ever since I started this channel, one thing I want to do is talk and review anime that I've watched back in the day and give it some light for a new audience. I kind of did that with the Eric Gear video and I'm still working on more videos about Eric Gear even though it's been a year. Don't don't worry guys. More videos are coming. But since that video, I've noticed a lot of people have been talking more about Eric Gear, which I'm kind of cool about. Like look at this video. God damn. But even though they get more views than my video, screw it. To continue the, the list of anime I've watched, let's tackle the greatest gag anime I've ever watched, Chromati High. The anime about the Lincolns doing what they do best, being the wolves. Sit back, grab your favorite brand of hair bleach, and it's time to start the school year. You guys are the best. I'll blow those candles out in one breath. I hope your wish comes true. Happy birthday, Maeda! That's my mom! Formati High is an anime series created by Eiji Nonaka. With the manga having 17 volumes and the anime getting one season from October 2nd, hey, that's my birthday, 2003 to March 25th, 2004. In the anime, we follow Takashi Kayama as he enrolls himself into the school full of delinquents. Why, you might ask? You're gonna have to read the manga. But what I like that they do is take everything about the delinquents aesthetic of Japan and they take it super serious to the point that they have a gorilla and a student that looks like Freddie Mercury. More about that later, but no one bats an eye, except for the main cast of characters that, you know, does offhand comments. And as I said, they take the delinquent aesthetic super serious, but they take it from the perception of Takashi, and it comes off as stupid as it comes. Like for example, in the first episode, it's already said that the school is full to the brim of tough guys, and then when the scenes cut to Takashi gain a few from his class, while doing that, he drops his pencil, but it does get picked up by one of the students. And before gaining it back, the random guy eats the pencil. He eats it. I guess it's supposed to be for intimidation, and for any other show, it would have been such show. But since we're following Takashi, he has the same reaction just like the rest of us would have. But the best part when he takes out his bag and dumps out a whole stack of pencils and other stuff, and the guy looks at Takashi and he eats them. And you know what's more funny? Is when Takashi is trying to glorify this school for having so, so much tough delinquents. And in the background, you just hear the, the guy's puking up the leg poisoning he just ingested. And that's just one of many classmates. There's so much that have some random moments that we're supposed to take seriously, but can't. If you're wondering why does everyone have this serious look and style to them, I can say it's for a few things. One, looking into the work of EG, majority of his other mangas he worked on have this style, so that could be one of the main reasons. But for another reason, I feel like it's the whole taking itself serious aspect, and having it in this style makes it even more funny. But I quickly want to talk about what is a better version, the sub or the dub. Look, I've stopped caring about the whole debate for a long time, because they both sound very cringy to me. Like if you think that's how a Japanese person sounds like, then that's you. But putting that aside, I've watched both versions and it's probably my dyslexia but the dub version is way better than the sub i don't know why but when it comes to sub versions of any gag anime it goes zero to a hundred when it comes to dialogue and i had to end up coming back to either get the joke or reread it the reason why i couldn't watch season two or three or saki k and honestly the dub version holds up great hell even better than the sub i'm confident to say that this dub version of this anime is at the level of other good dubbed animes like ghost stories another anime that you gotta go watch if you haven't and another thing great about this voice acting is the dub voice cast before i start forgive me for this butchering of names we got ben ponsky voicing takashi himself and it works so rare for his character and such for takashi's friend being voiced by lilich golia who played gin in the one piece dub but one of my favorite characters being voiced is hakata being played by jason douglas who's pretty much been in everything Here's some of the stuff he's been in. He's been the voice of Beerus in Dragon Ball Super, Akiji in One Piece, Fourth Kind for My Hero. He's been in so much, 
and for the character he plays in Kumari High. Hakuto is the rich kid whose father is in the chairman of the board of the schools, but he goes to Kumari not knowing that he holds no power since Kumari isn't under that jurisdiction. And after finding that out, he plays it off, even tricking the other students, at the point that in the show that he tries to leave the whole school, and that's what he does for majority of the show, him being the rich kid who wants to control the school. From Hakuto, we also have Takashi's friend, Shinjiro. He pops up in the beginning showing Takashi the ropes of the school, and he plays as the second hand for the stuff that Takashi gets into. And one of his notable characteristics is his Pokemon Mohawk that he keeps swinging back and forth. Honestly, Shinjiro is the type of friend that would suggest that you do something really stupid to only back out or push you in to do it more. No middle ground. But he does have a secret that I can't really tell you, so if you want to know, you gotta read the manga. And that's just the main cast of characters. These next show are the most wackiest characters that you will see in this anime. But I'll talk more about that after this. So I've talked about him in the beginning, but Freddy is one of the wacky bunch that stands out from the most of the anime. From his design and name, he looks like Freddie Mercury, lead singer of Queen. But looking at it again, he kinda looks like Mike Hagar from Final Fight. For the similarities goes, Freddy doesn't talk at all. Freddy's appearances are more of random moments in the show. So random that he rides a horse to school named Black Dragon, a fist of the old star of reference. A other standout is Mechazara, one of the strongest yet deep characters in the whole anime, but he is a robot with a heart of gold himself. One funny characteristic is that he has a little brother named Beta Mechazaur. Oh yeah, and they do have a gorilla. But just like any anime, did you know that Kumarati had a live action movie? Yeah, this movie pretty much follows the same as the anime. But to me, it's more unhinged. I guess it's because of the practical effects that it does. Compared to the anime that anything can happen because it's anime, if you haven't watched it, please go check it out just to see what I'm talking about. This movie gives me a kung fu hustle vibe and the other movie I'm working on a video for so stay tuned for that one but enough about the movie one thing that the anime brings up is the manga itself there's a lot in the manga that the anime doesn't show it's even a gag itself making you have to go read the manga so you can figure out what's going on like for one the manga shows Takashi's school life before going into Cromarty High and the friends he had and even talks about the violent crime that Takashi did but if you want to know more about that you gotta read the manga side note before we're ending this video I have found out that Kumari High actually has a spin-off manga named Kumari High School Staff. It follows a new vice principal that shows up into Kumari High, and it's as crazy as the first series. Dude pulls up into a classroom with a whole motorcycle, and it's still pretty new, only having a few chapters. Hopefully we can see some more stuff coming out of it in the future. Till then, stay weird y'all. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, Who's your favorite Cromartie or for you even watch Cromartie High? And don't forget to subscribe because more videos are soon to come. So till the next one, peace.